In this video, we will show you how to replace your ignition switch on this Dodge Ram. This will be mounted to your steering column. Let's get into it. Okay friends, let's get started on our job. The first thing we'll wanna do is make our way out to the negative battery terminal. Use an 11 millimeter. Loosen the mounting nut just enough that you can remove the terminal end from the battery. Let's make our way inside the passenger compartment. We're going to be looking for three T20 Torx screws. You'll find that you have one towards the driver's side rear of the steering column, one in the center, and one over towards the passenger side. Remove all three. There's one of our screws. The one all the way over here. We'll do the center last. Screw number two. This one's different than the other two. At this point, we can take hold of that clamshell and we'll separate it. Just give it a little wiggle. There we are. We'll take our two pieces, give them a quick inspection and set them aside. Now that we have that out of the way, we have a clear view of our ignition switch. Now to remove this, what we're going to do is take the ignition switch and we'll turn it to the on slash run position. This one can get stuck. There we are. Now if you were to look inside of this area, you'll find a small gray locking tab. With this in the on position, you can press in on that tab. Use a small screwdriver for this or a pick. That should release the lock and you should be able to pull this right out. Here we are. At this point, you can remove your key. And there it is, friends. Now that we have that out of there, let's clean and inspect the mounting area. All right, let's get ready for the installation of our ignition switch. We'll take the key, put this in the on position now we can take this and we'll put it into the ignition. You should hear a click. And if you were to look inside this area, you'll see that you have the tab protruding outward. Double check to make sure it is secured in place. We'll just double check to make sure it functions as it should. Now we can continue on putting our steering column back together. You'll find for the top piece, you have this squared out notch for the four way switch to protrude up and out through. Just take this and rest it in position. Once you have that in position, we'll continue on with the lower part of the clamshell. You remember that we had the three areas for our mounting screws. We'll take this and slide it up into position and latch the two together. Now we can put in our three mounting screws. I'll be starting with the center, which is the longer of the three. Sure that's nice and tight. We can continue on to the other two. These two are much shorter than the first. Double check to make sure it's completely secured. Back out in the engine compartment, let's re-secure our negative battery terminal. We'll press that on there as far as possible and make sure it's nice and tight using our 11 millimeter wrench. Let's get in the passenger compartment and we'll attempt to start the vehicle. Perfect. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.